Okay, revisiting the 6690. I just went through um, with the power drill, photographed the backboard. Um, this board here, photographed the board with the power, uh, the big transformer. Um, I didn't photograph this board, but everything looked okay. So I just powered up. Actually, I'm using the 6570 pedal. Powered up okay. Um, switch settings. Don't recommend doing that with cover off, but I've got gloves on, so be careful. So it looks like it's on straight stitch. And you can just, I gotta read into how to do this. Looks like pressing. Oh, wow. So it might be all good. <laughs> That's neato. I need to read before I do anything else. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go through all the. Uh oh, that button doesn't like it. This button's probably had better days. Uh, maybe they need a cassette. Uh oh, those ones. <laughs> Stitch isn't so happy. This one's not so happy. So that board, there must be a way to take this off and there's a board behind here. I'm guessing those contacts need to be changed, but there could be something unique that I don't know yet. So I'm going to guess after I read into this a little more, um, yeah, it looks like, I thought I read somewhere it automatically sets, so even if you do change these settings, um, I need to read into, I don't see where the cassette, I mean, it sounds stupid, but there's supposed to be like a cassette for like, like the patterns, and I don't, I don't see where those go on this, I don't, I don't, uh, if this comes off, maybe you have to pop this off. Oh, A's in there now. Oh, I see now. So this slides out, and then that slides in. I wonder if that wasn't in all the way. Oh, it wasn't in all the way. No way. So everything's good. Wow. That's reverse. This is like at a push button reverse. Wow, that's neat. Really awesome then, fine, if this is working okay. Um, I got her all lubricated, I used TriFlow. I didn't put grease in the bearings though. I just used the oil for now, running with the chuck, just to make sure everything is nice and loose. I did, uh, I forgot to take a photo of that. I wound up using this little file here, um, very carefully along the commutator, super lightly, because I figured I didn't want to get other particulates and I vacuumed that out. And I went in with a Q-tip just to double check, and I made sure there's no fibers from the Q-tips loft. Q-tip loft. Um, yeah, I probably can go in and put a little grease around those bearings. Also, I did do the disassembly. I figure everything seems pretty good, so it doesn't seem too um, tight. Um, I don't know if this is good. Let's power it on manually, but doesn't seem too. Too stiff. Seems like once I got the 6570, about as loose now. So that's good. I'll go ahead and put together, uh, I'll, I'll complete uh, the assembly, the power off. I probably shouldn't power on, but I'm going to power back on, power off. And then um, I guess this is ready to do some test stitching. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll think about it overnight before I do. Maybe I'm going to put some grease on there. Um, I don't know, I'm guessing it's probably okay. Boy, that's awesome. Okay, um, bye for now. Be safe, stay healthy. Read, read, read. Learn something new. Speaking of reading, I'm going to go read more onto this and just not worry about. Um, I'm not going to assemble yet. I'm going to read a little more into. And, um, yeah, just to be safe, it'll be quick to reassemble. Okay, bye.